Live from Southern California, this is the CW Morning Show. Plus, no need for paint in a canvas. This guy apparently can make art out of anything, including beautiful glass. And Lou's getting a lesson in art this morning. She is live at the home studios of artist Bill Fink. Hi, Lou. Hello. Hey, guys. If you look closely at this picture, you might not be able to tell. This picture is made completely out of hair, believe it or not. And this one, out of soil. We're going to introduce you to an artist from West Covina who uses paper, money, and even ashes. It's really cool stuff. We'll be back in two minutes. It's an art forum where canvas and paints are things of the past. Yes, Liz, uh, Lou Parker is in West Covina with an artist who uses natural resources to create art, even his own hair. Um, does he need any donations, Lou? I've got a lot. They're wanting to know if you need any donations. <laughs> well, anyone that wants to get a custom job. <laughs> exactly. You know, right before the live shot, guys, we, um, we were saying that he makes art with hair, and this little container has some chopped up hair in it. We almost dropped it right before the live shot. That would have been nice. All over the carpet but guys this is Bill Fink he's an artist we're in West Covina and this is the art behind us just one type of art that he does this is actual hair and it doesn't necessarily look like it Bill but explain what you've done here well what I do it just there is information on the website but what I in essence do is uh, make a very special photo emulsion and once it's processed the image can be formed entirely out of whatever material I want it to be formed out of. It will fix itself. So there is, it, it, the material forms the entire picture. And it actually is hair. I mean, I don't know how if close the camera here, can you get. Can notice oh yeah, you know what, Dave, you can see it really well on the picture a little bit to the right. It is hair and now, it's like stuck on there. Now, this is from my mother's hair. I took heirloom hair and made a picture of both of us from her hair. Now, it takes on the color of that person's hair. If you used follicles and included it in it, it would, in fact, even contain the DNA in the hair. And the, the interesting thing about this art is that it's both time and matter. It, it takes photography to a different realm, which I think makes it fun. Because yeah. it's not just an image of something. It's, uh, it's a let's picture made entirely out of the product or the person. Bill, let's move over here because, guys, he's not only working with hair. He's also working with ashes. Um, not human ashes, but these are real ashes, right, just from fire. Yeah, that, and that's right. I had started uh, in the 90s. I was photographing people dying of AIDS and making uh, memorials using their ash, ashes to make the pictures with. And it kind of turned some people off. So I had backed off from that for a while and went to other mediums, but it could just as easily do very beautiful scenes and Car make them entirely I was going to ask Carlos, because Carlos back in the studio is an artist. It, it's interesting that he's using these products, hair and, and um, ash, and in this case, yeah. he's using actual product, Carlos, like Tide, Folgers, coffee, he's, no um, and also oatmeal. Look at this oatmeal one here. He's really hit on something here that's completely different. You know, that's, that's, that's the oatmeal? thing as an artist, you always try to find something that's very much well, you. What I think makes this different than conventional photography or digital photography mm -hmm. is that it takes it one step beyond because you're merging the material, the actual material, with the image. So it documents the actual thing. It takes it as close as you can possibly get to going beyond photography. And Bill is trying to um, hopefully commission some of these pictures and sell them. He has them on his website. But for more information, of course, you can go on our website, ktla.com, um, for more information on Bill Fink. But we'll be back next hour because it's not just these products. We're also talking about some glass art that Bill does, too. So we'll be back. We'll see you next hour, guys. Fantastic. Bye. Very Thank cool. you. Very talented guy. Thank All you, right, Bill. Thanks, thanks Lou. Cool. Still to come, no need to head to the supply store. His art makes use of everyday items. Lou is live with artist Bill Fink. They're taking a look at some unconventional materials he makes into art. We're back in a moment. Did I burn it? We didn't burn no, it. Okay, perfect. good. Okay. <laughs> His art may look, look conventional, rather, but his materials are anything but. Very talented uh, artist Bill Fink is with Lou. Hi, Lou. Hi, Carlos. Hey, I'm still here. And, you know, we introduced you to Bill Fink. He's an artist who uses about just anything to uh, work with his art, including shredded hair. Remember we showed you that earlier? Coming up next, we're going to show you his glass art, including this plastic lampshade that he's been making. Check this out. Isn't that cool? We'll show it to you in just a few minutes. 
It's an art form where canvas and paints are things of the past. That's right. Lou Parker is in West Covina this morning with another look at the artwork of the talented Bill Fink. Hi, Lou. Hi, Lou. Hi, guys. He is very talented. I'm actually learning a lot of stuff this morning. We are here with Bill Fink in West Covino. And now, Covina, and now we're talking about glass art. And I'm going to get him to explain this because it's a little too complicated for me. But this is glass. It's crushed glass. that You have a, a studio in the back that you're working yes, with. Yes, I do. This. And in this case, I like glass because glass is fragile like life. And it's also more collectible than most any other materials. But in this case, once a photo matrix is made and, uh, and, and it's formed, it will form a Can translucent picture in the glass itself. There's no printing or anything else involved in this. And it's just formed in the glass. And so this is what it looks like, guys. If you turn the light off, this is something that someone could have in their home. It's glass. Um, with the image on the glass. Actually formed with the glass. It could be molten glass, cast glass, or fused glass. Uh, and then the, the goal, the next step of this is doing sculptural pieces, mm -hmm. uh, lampshades, and large murals. I'd sure like to come in contact with Mr. Chihuly or other really great glass artists that we can take this to the next level with. So this is, um, I showed you guys this in the tease, these lampshades. If you want to hit that one, Bill. These lampshades, how neat are these? And these are actual pictures, so you could take like a family picture or any type of picture and put it on here? Uh, yeah, this is this form, but this is with plastic. I mean, ultimately, the, the next step is uh, taking these form pieces and slumping them into a lampshade, kind of an abstract type of form or a very sculptural type of uh, piece of glass. And you're wanting to sell these because it's like, I mean, obviously, you've been working for years and years trying to put you. We showed earlier, if you weren't watching the last hour, um, you did a lot of stuff with you do a lot of stuff with hair and with oatmeal and ashes you're very talented well it's just about extending photography into a different realm uh, looking at all the different ways to turn something into a picture but making a photograph something really special by incorporating the in, the medium taken in the picture and making a part of the picture. And also, let's take a look at uh, the guys. He's also, not only is he a great artist, he's also trying to help the kids. And we're um, wanting to uh, show you a little bit about what he's wanting to do here. You can well, explain this, I, I formed a nonprofit foundation to help other artists. There's a lot of struggling artists out there. I appreciate the opportunity you gave me, but I know what it's like to struggle. Us. And I, I hope to eventually help other artists get exposure. But in the meantime, there's something that could be done right now. And it's something where the High schools can go and does, the students can design their own artwork and promote other students, use educational messages, no advertising, no sponsorship, completely done by the students in the classroom, take on all the educational is issues, have it completely endorsed. But then by, where does it go? Uh, endorsed by the principals and the teachers, self-legislated. But it won't happen without the approval of the governor. 14 years trying to get this going. Please, Governor Schwarzenegger, hey, give it a chance. He's basically wanting to put it on buses like this. So I, it would no, be able to cruise I, I, get here. No, I get no money from this. I just want to see it happen for the schools. I will make the initial prototype for high school students that want to get it going at no cost. All right, cool. So for more information, of course, you can go to our website, KTLA.com, for more information uh, on Bill's a hair art uh, website. For the, a hair art for the governor, if you'll do this, please. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He's giving shout-outs. All right, guys, we'll shout-out it back to you into the studio. Bye. All right, very cool <laughs> stuff. Thank you very much, Lou. Thanks. Thanks, Lou.